Leopard 2, which entered service in 1979 is the result of German Corps engineering. Leopard 2 replaced Leopard 1 and is armed by the 120mm smoothbore cannon. It has been updated in every aspect including firepower, mobility, protection, and fire control system. It is being used by more than 17 armies over four continents even after more than four decades. There are two main development batches of the tank, the original models up to Leopard 2A4, which have vertically faced box-shaped turret, and the improved batch, namely the Leopard 2A5 and newer versions, which have angled arrow-shaped turrets with applique armor together with other improvements. Leopard 2 to A4 variants almost all look similar but have some minor changes. The original Leopard 2 which was developed in 1979, had only an image intensifier, not the thermal sights. The next model Leopard 2A1 has some minor improvements in addition to thermal sight for the gunner followed by A2 to A3 variants, both having some more adjustments and additions, like the digital radio and welded hatches for Leopard 2A3. The most widespread and exported version is the Leopard 2A4 and it got major improvements including an automated fire and explosion suppression system, an all-digital fire control system with the ability to handle new ammunition types, and an improved turret with flat titanium tungsten armor. The new armor is believed to have protection equivalent to 700mm of RHA against kinetic energy penetrators and 1000mm RHA against shaped charged warheads. Many nations are still using the Leopard 2A4 variant. Let's discuss the upgraded Leopard 2A4 versions. Leopard 2NG. It is in service with the Turkish Army that uses the application of Advanced Modular Armor Protection AMAP, upgraded optics, and new fire control system while retaining the old power pack and L44 smoothbore cannon. Due to these improvements, the weight of the machine is increased from 60 to 65 tons. Leopard 2A4 can. It is an upgraded Canadian version of the Leopard 2A4. This Leopard 2A4 is also using advanced modular composite armor and it was basically tailored for urban warfare having an original L44 gun. A mine protection belly plate was added. Areas at the rear of the hull and turret were fitted with cage armor to provide protection against RPG and anti-tank guided missiles. Other modifications include electric rather than hydraulic turret controls. The Polish army uses Leopard 2PL that is also a modernized version of Leopard 2A4, it also has advanced modular armor protection kits, third-generation Polish-made thermal imaging site KLW-1 Asteria for both the gunner and the commander. The main gun is also optimized to adapt the new DM-63 AP FSDS and programmable DM-11 high explosive rounds, furthermore installation of modernized fire extinguishing and new fire suppression systems. One important upgrade is the installation of auxiliary power unit APU. The Leopard 2A4 CHL is the upgraded Chilean version of the Leopard 2A4 ordered by Chile in 2007. Upgrades include new electronics, sights, and information systems, which means it has a fire control system equivalent to that of the Leopard 2A6, mechanized with new suspension system, and upgradation of the tank's main gun to the L55 smoothbore cannon used on the Leopard 2A6, while the armor didn't change and is the same as on the original Leopard 2A4. The next improved batch starting with the Leopard 2A5 developed in the mid-1990s visually has the third-generation wedge-shaped modular armor on the turret. Due to the problems of the weak spot in the form of the gunner sight in the previous models the gunner sight was moved to the turret roof. Also, the commander received independent thermal imaging sight behind the hatch. Other minor improvements include the spall lining in the main compartment and much stronger side skirts. Stridswagen 122 is the Swedish MBT based on the Leopard 2 improved version. It is just like the Leopard 2A5 utilizing new technology and fire control system. Stridswagen 122 has reinforced armor on the turret roof and also on the front hull. So basically it is more protected than Leopard 2A5. The tank can be distinguished from the Leopard 2A5 by the French Gallic smoke dispensers at the side of the turret, different storage bins, and the thicker crew hatches. Due to additional armor, the tank is a little bit heavier than the 2A5. With the appearance of new Soviet tanks like T-80B with much advanced new ceramic armor in the early 1980s, and many older Soviet T-72 tanks were also upgraded to the T-72B model 1985 and 1988 protected with Contact 1 and Contact 5 explosive reactive armor. As a result, NATO tanks needs advanced guns to counter the Soviet armor. Then Rhine Metals developed the L-55 120mm gun which has the same geometry as the L-44 but it is 1.3 meter longer, 
which increase the muzzle velocity and results in better penetration. One positive aspect is that L55 can use the same ammunition as its previous shorter version. The longer L55 has been retrofitted in the Leopard 2A6 and was capable of firing DM53 and 63A PFSDS rounds. Leopard 2E is the improved version of the Leopard 2A6 and is being used by the Spanish Army. It has greater armor protection having thicker armor on the turret and the hull was also reinforced. It uses the Spanish-made command and control system. The Canadian Army also uses the Leopard 2A6 m can, which has enhanced mine protection under the chassis, the addition of the cage armor to protect the tank from heat ammunition in urban warfare, and internal enhancements to improve crew survivability. The tank saw service in Afghanistan. Leopard Peace Support Operation PSO, is the version specifically designed for urban warfare. It is fitted with improved all-around protection, a secondary weapon station, and the gun has a short barrel for maneuvering on urban streets. The Leopard 2A7 is a further modernized version of Leopard 2A6 MBT. The main features of this new upgrade of the Leopard 2 tank include new armor, crew compartment cooling system, and a new weapon engagement system. Leopard 2A7 is fundamentally different from 2A7 Plus and is not optimized for combat in urban terrain. Its weapon system is also adapted for firing DM-11 high-explosive rounds with an adjustable fuse. Hull has been modified to attach add-on armor elements. The standard armor can be fitted with additional modules to increase protection all around the tank against anti-armor weapons. Furthermore, the tank is retrofitted with the Attica third-generation thermal imaging site used by the commander. 2A7 Plus is the further improvement designed to operate for both low-intensity and high-intensity conflicts. Tank's protection has been increased by modular armor, the frontal protection has been improved with a dual kit on the turret and hull front, while 360 degrees protection against RPGs and mine protection increase the survivability of the tank in urban operations. The tanks also feature the FLW-200 remote control weapon station. It can fire programmable high explosive rounds. The fire control system has also been improved as both the gunner and commander get independent third generation thermal imaging sites. Furthermore, the air conditioning and auxiliary power unit are enhanced. Although Leopard 2 is quite old, it is improved at every step and era. In its final stage, it is a good mixture of firepower, protection, and mobility. In the near future, its protection will be one step ahead with the addition of Trophy Active Protection System making it one of the best tanks. 